has to be good, right? I'm actually, I'm gonna research my way to it because I want to see it. But I mean, eight a hundred production. How much is the? How much is the? I mean, a submarine is five hundred and ten. I mean, transport planes are at one eighty. A tank is eight point one. Guns are 0.5. So basically, you have either one railway gun or 1,600 rifles. Which actually, when you put it that way, it doesn't actually make it sound that expensive. But I'm pretty sure 800, it has to be the most expensive thing on land. Easily. And then we have naval stuff. But I think naval stuff... Probably costs 1,000. Navies will just cost a lot anyways. We're going to research it, and we'll see if it's worth your time to even try to build it. Phone's running on wi uh, potato Wi-Fi. Good, good old potato Wi-Fi. Okay, so you are Air Force. Let's just crank you up to, I don't know, 500 planes seems fine. I don't think we have that many planes in reserve. Who's going to be done in a few days? Could get ourselves another commander. I mean, an armor would be nice because it gets you even more army experience gain, and I think that's actually probably worthwhile. But yeah, I think we're gonna hire the old guard because our, our, our max was at 140, which I'm like, oh, if we take in three generals, which should reduce our maximum. But 140 is still 40 above the old maximum. So I mean, it's still pretty good. And, you, and we have a 20% reduction on ability cost, so... Actually, not that bad. You can definitely force attack significantly more often now with no step back than you could beforehand. And if you're watching the stream right now and you're not already following the channel, I do recommend you do hit the follow button to get alerted uh, every time we do go live in the future. Or if you're watching this on YouTube VOD, I would recommend you also come over to... Uh, the Twitch and follow along. Watch stuff as it is live, which is always a fun time. Yeah, we're taking a negative 80. I mean, it's theoretically possible to be below the base 100 from the old uh, game. Like, and that's, it. that's if you take literally everybody. Got a coup d'etat. Got the Kingdom of Romania against the Provisional Kingdom of Poland Romania. Can I intervene in this war in any actual way? Establish the Royal Guard. We could take two free units. We could get two free naval dockyards. Cheaper guns for two years. Not terrible. We will go Central Region Strategy. Are you a puppet of ours? No. How many men do you guys have? 2 to 10, 13 to 45. Okay, so it's, it's pretty obvious uh, which way the uh, the winds are going to blow on this. You do uh, Trotsky's USSR? Um, Chancellor, probably not. Um, because tomorrow we're not doing Trotskyist, we're doing Bukharanist USSR. And I, and I don't think, like, a Trotskyist campaign would be too, too different. They're going to kind of follow, like, those same steps. Why out of 35? So, yeah, this will be done in a second. Could get us some... You're right, you're pretty good. Military factories, more military factories, more civilian factories. All things that we do like to see. And I'm assuming at some point afterwards, because you've got generic focus tree up here, but you will probably just become a puppet state of ours. I don't know if you're going to take over Romania's focus tree. I would assume not. Or at least under a lot of, uh, a lot of penalty. Or a lot of things blocked off, which I kind of think kind of works out to be the same. Okay, let's invest the old Polish region just so we can mostly get to modernize congressional factories, which is pretty good. Yeah, but Bucharest is about to fall to our units. I did not forget about the Brazil stream on Thursday. It will it will still happen. 
rest. I mean, it's it's holding out. They, they've literally taken over the entire rest of the country. There we go. Yes, yeah, so the Provisional Kingdom of Poland, Romania. Yeah, they just got generic focus tree, which I mean, it's fine. It's not bad. And yeah, our units now have supplies because we're taking fa uh, supplies from our uh, vassals territory. So that's nice. It means I can now reposition you, I think, to another army that can probably actually use five divisions. I mean, we can do a military parade through here, but I, th I don't think we need to. Hello, epic dude. Welcome, welcome. Okay, if we can control Lithuania... Then we can form the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Is this a paid DLC or, like, a big update? Well, I mean, the update comes with, like, the railroad systems, but I think most of the features, like, the focus trees... The railway guns and some other bonuses like that, like the Oscar Core menu. That's all part of the DLC that you have to actually pay for. Now that we have Romania under our control, we can merge internal governments, which just annexes you, and then we become known as the King of Poland, Romania. So we can appoint a, an allied government, then we can join the allies. Or we just invade Czechoslovakia, and then we kill the Hungarians. You're not done yet. Now you're done. Okay. Merge the governments together. Civilian train upgrade. Ah! I'm not gonna upgrade you to the to the armored train. I don't think that makes sense. Let's try it about the railway guns. They're so, so, so expensive. But I think it still will work out. Now, I do think I want to save our... You guys are actually pretty... 25. You're 25, but I think you're still basically trash. We're going to save up to get some uh, doctrines. Quickly as possible. 27 in storage. We could get armor trains, which will basically allow them to... Not get killed as easily commission but i i don't think we need to i i don't think we need to upgrade the civilian trains just leave them as is okay chance for the war on communist china i mean are you at war with japan no you're not japan is actually just taking this entire region did you did you get the marco polo bridge incident and then china backed down i actually did not know china could back down Possible the Soviets join the Axis. I think the only way the Soviet Union can join the Axis is they have a. It's not showing up here for some reason. I'm not too sure why, but I think they have to go like um, monarchist and have the Imperial Royal Family take over, and then I think at that point they can join the Axis. At least that's two. If I'm remembering the focus tree right, that's how they can get in. Concentrate Industry 3, get the advanced machine tools, get all this stuff going. Let me can. Done in about a week from now. Or this. Dirty. Gives you air experience gain, which wouldn't be bad. I don't think so. I don't think Stalin and Hitler can be allies. I know it, it used to be possible before No Step Back. But it never lasted, I think. Just due to the way that um, factions work in Hearts Final 4, if they're part of a different ideology than each other, they will like lead the faction. So what would happen is you take the event to have like the Berlin-Moscow axis. And then I think the day later, the Soviet Union would immediately leave the faction. That's base that's what used to happen. And now it's just it's just not a possibility anymore. Especially if Germany goes for the military junta, which I... I guess I could go... What, what can Germany do? I mean, we don't know if they revive the Kaiserreich because they've done free election. What the hell is our flag? Oh no. What have we done? Also, do we have more commanders? No. Okay, so there's been a revolution in the in the Soviet Union. We've got uh, Stalin, 
against Bukharin. Who's going to come out on top? Who knows? Soviet Civil War. So the Soviet... The Nazis are no more... Yeah, the Nazis have been kicked out of Germany. We now have vastly increased the size of our military and actually gets us over to 500,000. Which is what we needed to demand Slovakia from Czechoslovakia. Yeah, so let's put you under two generals. We're gonna have you be on the front line here for right now. And I'm going to assign you to, I guess, the Hungarian border? You have, there's no way you have supplies for this, right? Yeah, maybe you do. If, if we need to split you up between, and put some troops on the Czechoslovakian border, we can do that for sure. Cars of Winter's to TNO Lord approve it. I, I know in, um, you have no supplies in this province, do you? Do we have trucks? We have 974 trucks in stockpile, so yes. So now, now I can at least show you this. Is because before, like, if we're trying to get the cow or supplies to this guy via horse, they don't really get there. But if we increase motorization, might need, yeah, now that they, instead of uh, going there by horse, we're going there by truck, now they have the supplies they need. I mean, it does cost us trucks, we need 25 to supply this area, but it works out very, very well for us. Our invasion plan here. Guys, just I guess push away towards Kiev. So I'm not too sure who's gonna win, uh, Bukharin or Stalin. My guess is that the Bukharin AI is not gonna be able to win in this position that they created for themselves. That looks like absolute ass. Okay, uh, let's go factories down in Bucharest. And yeah, you're all immediately cores. And I still hate this flag. It, it looks so bad. Could go to limited conscription. I will definitely do that because there's no downsides to it. It's literally just a I want more manpower button. Which is nice. Okay, Bulgaria's approach Germany. Okay, Germany looks like they have gone democratic. They did not go the monarchist path. Which means that we're not... Oh wait. Has National... Has National Speeder Wilhelm III. So they are... I guess a... Constitutional monarchy? Similar to... Britain. I imagine that's what's happening here, but it's just kind of a guess. Don't know what France is doing quite yet. Again, Italy can't do anything else other than be fascist. They don't have anything in their focus tree to make them change ideology. I mean, Britain right now is very democratic. Nothing's going to really be happening with them. And I don't think the United States has anything in their focus tree either to kind of switch ideologies. We could go with the pro-German alliance. And I think... I think I kind of want to do that. I don't even, I don't even ally to the British because the British suck. They're, they're not very good if controlled by the AI. We get our claim here. For 70 days. I, I, I do think we take Baltic states. But we're not considered a major. And need 700,000 men to make our own alliance. But I mean... Lithuania will not accept the alliance. Right, like, that's just not going to happen. As unfortunate as that is. Good go for the war austerity train. I will research you. I think you'll be good for us. Can I upgrade you to the armor train? Let's try to build one of these railroad guns. They also take three resources, which is actually very, very rare. That anything in Hearts of 4 takes three different types of resources. It'll be done in 1942. With our current, um... In our, in our current situation. Uh, we could... We actually have 23,000 23, rifles. 
Put more on the railway gun. Also, we can only have five factories here, which is amazing. You're doing that. Uh, do we have close air support? Yes, we do. I want to get some close air support. I don't know. Four on you seems okay. But we could use some tungsten. We'll get that from the United States. We'll get chromium from Turkey. And we'll get rubber from British Malaya. And we have more free dockyards. Again, we'll just send you on the convoys. I guess we have one more. Oh, I don't know. We actually have some more ships here as well. Bring you all together. Assign some random admiral to our navy. It, it shouldn't be a big, big deal one way or the other. But you know what? Let me and the Kaiser. Let's have an alliance that will last a billion years. Okay, well, we'll have, thanks for uh, joining us, Finska. Glad to uh, have you on the stream when you're able to actually be here. We could get some political advisors. Most of them we cannot actually take. You're garbage. You're t fucking horrible. Could go stability plus 50%, which is not bad. Noble bureaucrat, political power gain. We can get three of you. And there's only like six available, so we can get like half of these guys on our side. I think it makes sense for us to go for Noble Bureaucrat first with that political power gain bonus. Okay, we got the Quit India movement. Which I believe is... Pro-fascist? I actually don't remember which way the, the, the Free India movement goes. Yeah, Bukharin is getting absolutely crushed. There's no way he's going to live for too, too long, and Stalin will then uh, take over. Well, I guess he's already charged. But he will secure his position in charge of the Soviet Union. Oh, and we can't get our first doc uh, doctrine. So yeah, go grant battle plan. Nice thing about um, this new system of doctrines, you don't need to research. There's no time to research. It just instantly unlocks when you have the command power. Which is incredible, and I think could be very, very broken... Uh, once you actually get involved in major, major wars and you're just racking up um, military experience. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Got 35 more days until we have an alliance with the Germans. Always happy to have a little bit of an alliance with the Germans. Now you want me to train units. I mean, I have so much stuff that it would be silly not to, right? Let's at least deploy 10. Uh, no, let's at least deploy enough to release it. Is it 700 or 750? 750, okay. Let's at least deploy enough that we're at 750. And I would, our armor division, I want to replace you all with medium tanks. Don't have enough power for them. So we'll ignore it for now. And I guess we'll just, we'll just get like 124 stack. I think that seems reasonable. And we're not even missing anything. Like we still have, we have all the utility, all the infantry equipment we need. Trucks are still looking good. We have more than enough trucks to supply our unit. With thousand actually in stockpile, which is nice. Do we want to build any more railroads? We can theoretically connect these areas together. I don't know if that actually makes a difference or not. I mean, it could. If this area gets captured, or let's say this province gets captured, we'll be able to get supplies over. But you know what? Just as a precaution, let's link these guys up. And just in case. And I'm actually going to build railroads like this as well. Again, it's a precautionary measure. But I think it's a measure that makes sense for us to take. Are we going to take the old guard now so we can actually go back up to 160? I guess if you just hire that one old guard, you can actually get your maximum command power up to 220. Which I think would allow you to force attack like five times in a row, which would be pretty good. And it's not war. shang -Chi. I mean, Chukyo, they've all decided to join up with the Japanese. I would be interested to see if the communists also join up, because there's a there's a funny little mechanic in Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, vanilla. Which allows... 
Yeah, which could allow them to align themselves with Japan. But we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. The Kaiser has agreed. Surprisingly, Germany has agreed to sign a formal alliance with the Kingdom of Poland and Romania. Although once long time enemies, it would seem the days between conflict in Poland and Germany are at last at an end. The two nations are now moved forward as allies against the rising time of extremist ideology. But because an act of the 5th of November was the Germans agreed to release the Polish territories in the independent kingdom, has now evolved to a historic alliance that will hence be forth known as the November Alliance. Wait, who's in charge? It's probably German. I'm in charge of the alliance? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Can't do this though, because... Wait, why can we not do this? I'll follow me to choose. Slovakia exists. Czechoslovakia exists. It's not in a factory of Poland and Romania. Are you not fully independent? I mean, Yugoslavia is now communist under Tito. Germany. They need to double their manpower for this, actually, for them to take over the faction. Slovakia exists fully independent. Okay, Czechoslovakia exists. Fully independent, at peace, not in a faction of Romania. What if must be true? I don't see what about that is wrong and not and not accurate. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. Slovakia, okay. Czechoslovakia exist. Fully independent, at peace, and not in a faction of the Kingdom of Poland, Romania. I don't know what their problem is. We can also invite Romania into a faction to go to war with the Italians. I mean, they're at war right now with France. So you know what? I'm kind of like, let's do it. Welcome Romania to the November Alliance. And I do want to... Can I bring... Do I need to be at peace? No, I do not. 